morning. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to dual boot Windows on your Steam Deck using a micro SD card. The reason why I went with this method was because it's very affordable and portable. I only spent about $20 on this. That being said, obviously if you're running an operating system on an SD card or a USB stick, you're not going to have the same performance that you would have running it off of an actual drive. I know a lot of people have been installing one or even two terabyte drives meant for a Steam Deck. I will go ahead and link information on that in the description below. So if you have access and the time to install a bigger drive and just partition Windows and Steam OS separately, I would highly recommend you do that instead because you're going to notice much better performance and it will be more long lasting. But if you're like me and you don't mind spending about 10 or $20 just to play Genshin Impact or a couple of other games that I'll be listing here, this is a good solution in the meantime. The thing you're going to do is go to Rufus. You're just going to scroll down and download 3.21. If you have issues with this, you can go back and download a different version, but 3.21 should be just fine. So Steam has already compiled a list of Windows drivers that you're going to need for a Steam Deck, so you're going to want to download those, save them in a folder. Like I said, all the links will be in the description below, and download the actual ISO file from the installation tool. You can also do Windows 11 if you prefer that to Windows 10, but keep in mind that there may be some performance issues with Windows 11. Personally, I recommend 10, but do what feels right. And I go ahead and put all the files you downloaded into a new folder. These zips are all drivers that we're going to use so that, you know, Windows actually runs properly. <laughs> then we have our media creation tool, which we're going to use to actually get the copy of Windows. And Rufus is the tool we're going to use to get the copy of Windows onto your USB stick or onto your micro SD card. So we're going to start with the media creation tool. Double click it to open it up. It will take a few moments, that is totally normal. Just wait for it to do its thing. Once it's ready, accept your license. Then you're going to choose Create Installation Media for another PC. Here you can either use your recommended options or you can go and change them. If your recommended options aren't Windows 10 or 11, depending on what you want, and 64 bit, I recommend that you switch those. You can also change the language. Hit next. And then we're going to choose ISO file. I wouldn't recommend doing the USB flash drive since you'd have a flash drive attached to your Steam Deck. You can if you want to, it's technically possible, but I do not recommend it. You'd probably want an ISO file. Where you want to save that, I'll go ahead and save it here, that's fine. Then it'll take a few minutes to produce the file. Keep in mind where you save your ISO file it can be anywhere, but by default it will be in your documents folder. I'm going to go ahead and open up Rufus. Rufus should automatically pick up your device, make sure that your USB key and or SD card adapter is being detected. If not, you may need to replug it and plug it back in. Under here, just make sure it's under disk or ISO image since it is an ISO. And select where the ISO is, where all of these, and under image option, instead of standards window installation, it needs to be windows to go because you're going to be running it off of the SD card. Label, you can just leave it as is, it's just uh, what you're going to be naming it. Okay, and go ahead and start. Choose the version that you want. I'm going to go with Windows 10 Home because that's what I have a key for. Keep in mind that as it says here, it will completely wipe everything that's already on the SD card. So please, if you're using an SD card that you already have, Make sure you transfer anything that's off of it, because it will be gone forever. Playing the Windows image is going to take a couple of minutes. So there are two software options that I recommend. The first one I'm showing here is called the Windows Steam Deck Driver. You can find it on GitHub. That being said, a lot of people have had issues with this driver, so there are a lot of alternatives. I will list them in the description below. I personally recommend Glossy as an alternative. It worked super well with Genshin specifically. If there's any interest, let me know. I'd be happy to do a glossy tutorial at some point. Whatever drivers you end up choosing, make sure to put them in the folder with your other drivers so that you can install them easily on your deck. Now we'll navigate over to our USB key or SD card. As you can see, the Windows files are ready to go. Let's just make a new folder here and copy over our drivers. You're going to want the drivers ready to go because when you install a new copy of Windows on Steam Deck, you won't even have internet access until you install Wi-Fi drivers. Now you just want to eject your USB key and we'll switch over to the Steam Deck. Alright, so we're going to power off our Steam Deck and at the bottom here, this is where you're going to put in your micro SD card. 
Just push it in, there'll be a little click. So, in order to change operating systems, you need to enter the bootloader. Where to do this, it's super easy. All you have to do is hold down the volume down button, keep holding it down, and press the power button. Keep holding down the volume down button until the boot manager opens. From here, all you need to do is select your external drive and load it up. Now this part is going to take a while, that is totally normal. You'll be waiting quite a bit while Windows installs, unfortunately. As you can see, you can use the trackpad as a mouse, or use your touchscreen to navigate this part. Just install Windows like you normally would. When you're done, you might want to go to display settings to put your Steam Deck back in landscape mode, because it goes into portrait by default. You're going to notice that most of your Steam Deck buttons will not work at first, that's completely normal. That's because you need drivers for them to be recognized. In the meantime, you can use your trackpad as a mouse, and in order to left and right click, you can use the triggers on the back of your Steam Deck. So let's head over to the folder that has all your drivers, and we're just going to start installing them one by one. So you actually have two options here. Option one is you just install your drivers one by one this way. That's totally fine. You'll be ready to go once you're done. You don't need to do anything else. Two is totally optional. If you're like me and you're really lazy, option two is to use TeamViewer to install your drivers for your PC. So in order to do this, you just need to manually install your Wi-Fi driver. Then you connect to the internet, go to TeamViewer, download it, and install it. Then, obviously, make sure TeamViewer is also installed on your PC. It's super easy to use. All you need to do is match the ID and password between your PC and your Steam Deck, and it will connect. So there you go! Now you can use your Steam Deck from your PC. I personally like doing this because I get to use my regular keyboard, and it's just a little bit faster to download all of your drivers and software. But like I said, if you don't want to do that, that's totally okay too. From here, you can install Steam, Genshin, whatever else you feel like. Be sure to install your Windows controller driver or install Glossy to make sure your Steam Deck buttons will work with your games. Otherwise, you're going to open up your games and none of the controllers will work. And that's it. You're all done. You can switch between Steam OS and Windows anytime you feel like. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you have any issues or questions, feel free to tweet at me on Twitter or let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you. I hope you have a lovely evening and thanks for watching.